we are at the end of the Cardona collection. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing because they're done and I can do this review and then jettison the movies from my mind, never to consider them yet again. What, what amazes me throughout this set is how Cardona Jr. can jump between all these various genres and make them all really boring and tedious. That takes a special kind of talent. Uh, La Casa Quenderde de Noche, or otherwise known as The House That Burns at Night, spoiler, is, um, yeah, that's another one of these kind of crappy movies. We're in a love triangle, kind of. Um, we're in a brothel in Mexico. We have this woman that's kind of dying. She's the old brothel owner. We get this young kind of whippersnapper, younger woman who comes in uh, to says, uh, desperate to take over. <laughs> And um, we have this man in the middle of them. And it's kind of like a power struggle for a lot of the movie. There are non sequitur kind of storylines that just take place, like a moment where someone's killed because, well, they're annoying. And then the body gets dumped. Uh, one of our characters goes to America, meets somebody, robs them, and then comes back to Mexico. And you're like, what the hell was that detour there for? What did that add to the story? Nothing. Chigringo. You're a fucking asshole, you know? This is another one of those kind of melodramatic plays on a typical storyline. You know, love triangle, people will die, people have to die, everybody's going to burn by the end of this one because they're just horrible people doing horrible scenarios. Our main Woman, the, the sultry vixen at the heart of this one, has a, a, a nice little task of wherever she appears on screen, there is a, the rattle from a rattlesnake. Just letting you know this is another snake of a person. But again, so boring. This movie, 143 minutes, and I knew I was in for a torrid time when I checked my watch and realised that I was only nine minutes into this thing. That's that's true hell for me, forcing me to watch something like this that just, again, is so perfunctory. It doesn't do anything special whatsoever and often chooses the most mundane way of telling its story. I don't like the characters. I don't like the setting. I didn't like uh, some of the B stories that would come out of nowhere, disappear and never be seen again. I, I just found this thing to be r rather tedious. It's the best way to say it. I didn't really watch The House That Burns at Night. More I kind of suffered through it. <laughs> but there was one thing that just kept my hopes high. One thing that just almost saved this for me and that was the fact that this was the last of the Cardona Collection Volume 2. Holy crap, uh, I'm glad to be done. Um, I don't really want to talk about the movie anymore. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to rant for a little bit I think because I'm glad to be done. This was something that VS have threatened us with for a while. I, I'm almost thinking about pressing charges for the harm that's been done to me being forced to watch this. I I can't recommend this. I really can't. Even though I did enjoy Under Siege to a certain extent, you need to remember it was sandwiched in shit here. So, uh, you know, finding something that was enjoyable when it's surrounded by crap isn't a win for me. <sighs> but yeah, um, I, I, I hope he didn't pick this up. Um, let's send him a message. Let's not pick it up. Let's not be forced with it. Uh, I can't really sell this on either because I don't think it's fair to anyone to pass this into their possession. It's like a, a curse or a family hex. Um, you know, I could ruin somebody's life by, by selling this. The House That Burns at Night. Did, did you watch it? Did you make it to the, the fourth movie in this set? If you did, more power to you. If you enjoyed it, 
well done you. I'm really happy for you. I am genuinely because I just found nothing but tedium in this one. If you loved it, let me know why in the comment box below. I, I just want to know. It's not even so bad it's good. It's just so bad it's crap. As always, there is a links to the Patreon membership program, manvfilm.com, in the description box below. Any support you want to give would greatly, greatly help the fact that I had to watch the Cardona collection. I'll see you next time in Man V Film, where I'll be watching something that's hopefully half decent. See you next time.